I think I beat them the past three times, so that means the next time we play, I'm probably gonna get double four stock or something crazy. Yeah, I mean, it's just fair. That's how it works. It's a circle of life. Shokyo using... Never mind, that's not the black skin. It's just not zoomed in right now, and my glasses are dirty. He's using his FX skin. What is uh, Chewie's FX skin? Doesn't he have one? No, he does or, not. I thought all he, PR people have one. He, uh, Nick... Chewie's was next in line to be made, and Nick just kind of got burnt out from doing it because he did, like, seven skins in a row. Oh, that's fair. So his just never got completed. And then we kind of took them off the build for uh, Lotion City because we didn't want a bunch of custom stuff that out-of-state players are going to be like, what is this? I don't care about your number eighth on the PR or whatever. Yeah, I mean... And then we just never added them back on because we haven't updated the build since then, pretty much, aside from uh, test stages. Will what? the uh, test stages be at Lotus City? No. Or is that up uh, for debate? Ideally, they won't be test stages, and they'll, there will be a national rule set by then. We're talking about that in the PMBR, the PM Backroom, which is why we're testing stages, to kind of gather data and figure out what to do. Okay. But um, I don't know how much I'm supposed to say about that, so I'm just going to stop there and say that we're testing. Yeah, we can talk about the match instead. But yeah. Ooh, goes for a mini tech chase. All right, yeah. I, I feel like this is the main reason why uh, Shokyo has a better win rate, is that Zeus is really good at edgeguarding people and getting them off stage, mm -hmm. but Shokyo is really, really good at recovering. Yes. So, so he has to hit like that spike uh, down air, or he has to like really make sure he gets them, or Shokyo's just going to come back, wall jump five times, and you know what I mean. Yeah. Um, what Zeus likes to do if he doesn't get the down air spike, he likes to go down there and hit you with a dare or something so that he can hit you with the spring. Because if you get hit by the spring, you're pretty much dead unless you just have all of your resources. Yeah. And even then, you still are in a terrible spot. Shokyo, however, is very good at avoiding the spring. So that's what the offstage game is going to revolve around. If Zeus can figure out Shokyo's jump and down B patterns to hit him with the spring. So if you get hit while you're tethering, you die. <laughs> no coming back from that. Zeus starting to do that thing where he just sort of gets all over you and you have no time to react to what he does. Yeah. There's a spring, there's a tether, and just gets up attack. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I'd assume Sonic would have some stronger punish on uh, tether characters. Yeah, you can like, you can actually do a lot. You can ledge hop forward air, hit him with the sweet spot, and hit him down. Or you can hit him with the thing that sends him out to kill. You can jump past him in the back air, because mm -hmm. ZSS has like 35 frames of end lag when she lands, so she's just stuck there. You can down air. You can do a lot. Uh, he's probably trying to do the Get up attack. Oh, that sends him back off that stage. That sends him backwards, yeah. Yeah, that would make sense. If Shokyo drifted back, that definitely would have hit. Yeah. So even then, back air is still better, but it's a little harder to aim that back air than the get up attack. Unfortunately, crosses in front of his shield. Yeah. Ooh. Zeus really likes to do that after down air. He likes to side B. Because if you try to immediately tech or roll or act out, you just get caught by the side B into a grab or being dragged off stage. Mm -hmm. So what Shokyo and other players are doing is whenever you get down here, you just hold shield <laughs> and he kind of spins past you. Does uh, Zeus do that Gatling grab often? He does. I remember there was a time where he just didn't do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he does the Gatling grab as well as the dash tech cancel grab. It's pretty good. If it hits you, you just get knocked down. And then, I mean, he doesn't grab you, but you're knocked down, so you don't punish it. And then if you try to shield it, you get grabbed. Yeah. So it's a pretty good option select that doesn't always give you the best reward, but it's fairly it's safe. safe. Yeah, it's super safe. You either, like, have to read it and, like, stuff it out just because mm -hmm. Sonic uh, has a big hurtbox. Or spot... I don't know. Can you even spot dodge that? Um, it's probably really tight. Because you'll probably, like, spot dodge the hitbox and then get grabbed. Mm -hmm. I'm not 100% positive on that on the frame data. I'm sure you can spot dodge it at times, but other times you'll get grabbed. Either way, probably too difficult to do. Yeah, at least consistently. Warrior Bite, though? You can't spot dodge that. No. That thing's really active. What is uh, everyone's, like, I guess the general average of spot dodge lengths? I think it's, like, 15 frames. Okay. I'm, not, I'm not positive on that, though. I know that people have different spot dodges. I always thought the invincibility time was the same, but the in lag and startup were different for everyone. 
I don't know how much they normalize. I think you're actually probably right. I'm not 100% positive on that, to be honest. I know that there's three different tiers of spot dodges. I'm not super familiar on the frame data of spot dodges, though. Yeah, it's a pretty... Sort of a weird thing to just know off the top of your mm -hmm. head because it's no one uses it that often unless you're like against Lucario or someone mm -hmm. where you need to spot dodge their moves. And generally, if you're using spot dodging well, your um, frame date on it necessarily doesn't matter because it's like it's a mix up. You're using it to read what your opponent's doing, and you can definitely use it poorly. But generally, if you use it poorly and they're prepared for it, they're gonna get you regardless. Yeah. So it looks like Chokyo is getting this. Like, uh, oh yeah, he yeah. does get this. I spoke too soon. <laughs> I'm like, like, man, Zeus is uh, slowly coming back. And then, no. Mm -hmm. FD maybe? I don't know where Zeus wants to go. I know he wants room to run around, but yeah. I don't know if he wants platforms or not. I think FD is probably Sonic's best Oh, stage. never mind. Chokyo banned FD. I wonder why he... Well, I mean, I know why he changed his bands. You want to know why his original bands were those two? Uh, no, Shokyo one. one. Shokyo one. Oh, there we go. Power it's, shield into run away twice. It's just like, I'll keep doing it. I'm gaining percent by this. Mm -hmm. That's the other thing he does. Um, Chewie generally, if you're in a tech star, can he hit? Oh. I'm still recovering. See, that's yeah, the, there, uh, we there are. you go. That's what he was looking for. The uh, reverse hitbox to the back air. Not the back air. The get up attack into a spring because you have to tether right there you aren't able to jump can't really down be there's no wall for you to jump on oh my god it just yeah. holds it so if yeah that, that was pretty smart to do that because then uh gss ran out of tethers and couldn't get back anymore yep. then she just dies you don't have to do any extra work how to edge guard tethers what i want i mean it's a little different for all of them mm -hmm. but that's most a general character. idea yeah most characters can just throw out a big beefy move because, like, 30 frames is very easy to react to, if they're going to land or not. Especially if you're prepared for it. Mm-hmm. Because then it's not really the 35 frames. If you're pre Oh, oh that's trades? suicide bear. That's a pretty good trade. Yeah. He was, at over, he was over 100%. So Chewie got one Gimp and then got one uh, stock trade. He's almost playing Ganondorf. <laughs> Chewie loves stock trading with that character. He, he loves suicide side being, that's for sure. Or even like uh, down B as well. He'll, he likes to just stomp on your face and kill himself, but as long as you die, it's good. Mm -hmm. I mean, in this situation, why not? Ooh. There we are. So, uh, Shokyo only taking a little bit of damage to that stock and wasting out that invincibility from Chewie perfectly. That's the only risky thing about uh, suicide kills. You obviously lose your stock. So now, he's losing now. Mm -hmm. It's not necessarily because he suicided, but if he was able to take that stock without killing himself, it'd be a, he'd still have an extra stock lead. Yeah, definitely. I think, so in that situation, he was like pretty far be uh, back behind the ledge, and he's like, crap, I can't grab ledge anymore. Mm -hmm. So he went for the one thing he could, and that's just to hit ZSS again. Yeah, that's fair. Oh, forward tilt. Down angled forward tilt. Interesting. Actually hits so hard. It's crazy. I mean, I'm sure it worked mainly because Sonic was at 150. Yeah. It's really good against, uh, like, fast fallers as well. It just sends you at a really nasty angle. Mm -hmm. If he if he hits, like, box with down air forward to, like, from, like, 50 to 70, somewhere around there. Maybe not necessarily 50, but definitely 70. This guy. Man, that whole yep. stock was just Shokyo calling him out with down smash. Or just reacting to him. Yep. Just killing him.